For Steve and Kathy Jones, ballooning is a family affair. And for the small but enthusiastic ballooning community, the great Mississippi River balloon race in Natchez is a homecoming of sorts. After this meeting, you will see those pilots rush out of here. They will all go briskly to their vehicles and you will see a mass exodus of vehicles out of this parking lot. Everybody trying to beat somebody to a good, perfect spot for takeoff because the, a good takeoff determines whether or not you make your target. So you have to know, first you know the target and then you decide where to take off only after the target's established. Today the target is a barge in the Mississippi River and they will have an X on that barge and the balloon pilots will fly across the river and fly across that barge and drop a, a beam bag on top of that X. Uh, you know, then the, of course the one that can get closest to the middle of the X is the winner. That, that's the race. The race is not speed. The race is accuracy of flying over a target. They'll do a wind reading to see direction of how they think it looks, especially coming across the bluff here at the Mississippi River. It's quite unusual. The winds here are different than any other place. So they'll, that's what they're doing now. See what we got? Yeah, might as well. From the bluffs of Natchez, the release of this small helium balloon called a pie ball gives the Budweiser crew an idea of wind direction and speed. As a result, they head to Vidalia, Louisiana, to launch from the west side of the river. Was this a typical setup? I mean, was the time very typical? typical? Yes, very typical. Mm -hmm. What you would say, what we did was was normal, just how we set up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting out all the equipment, laying it out. You inflate the balloon with cold air, and then you heat that air with that burner, and it sets the balloon up. And then he's ready to fly. We put. He has radios, maps that he, we put in the balloon, and he's uh, then prepared for flight. Okay. So now we are going to um, chase, and we'll go a little ways and wait to see. Uh, and it looks as if we don't have to worry. We're going to actually go that direction. So further so, into Louisiana? Is that further right? into Louisiana, yes. So we'll, we'll head over to the bridge and wait for a few minutes, and then see where we go from there. Okay. So we're off Alrighty. to the races. And for anyone chasing a chase team, it feels a lot like an episode of Amazing Race. But on this day, a short flight ended just south of the River Bridge at a carnival. How was today's flight? Uh, it was a questionable flight. Uh, had a good flight. Uh, the problem was the wind was out of the north. When the wind's out of the north and flying in Natchez balloon races, um, you're going downriver to the worst and hardest areas to find a place to land. And every and every flight, your first question is, where am I landing? Mm -hmm. um, the wind was carrying us at about 200 when I got up. I, was, I needed about 200 degrees to get across the river to where I needed to go. Mm -hmm. I wasn't getting but about 214, 220. I decided, get down low, stay low, find this little spot right here and mm -hmm. get in here. We've had some good, good flying this weekend. Uh, this afternoon, just the wind turned in the wrong direction. We were trying to drop in on a barge out in the Mississippi River. As you can see, one of the balloons, uh, he, he hit the barge, and then he couldn't get off the river. I'd rather know that I was off the river <laughs> than fool with hitting the barge. <laughs> so, safety first. What you see out there is what you don't want to do. And that was, that was our problem a while ago when we were deciding on a place to take off in the direction of the winds that while we might could make a barge drop, that we had to find something that would take us across to the other side of, of the, that the wind direction was very narrow. So with 20 degrees to play with, then you ended up that he's ended up in the middle of the river. So if y'all had tried it up there off the barge, you may have hit the barge, but you might not have gotten the wind to get back up. Exactly. Exactly. The wind to get across to the one side or the other of the river. <laughs> yeah, after I passed the barge. And you could it, once you went down, you couldn't get it. It wouldn't I go got, back I, up. Oh, it would go back up, but I just couldn't get off the river. The, the winds were going straight down the river, yeah. so I ended up uh, having them tow me in. Yeah, but Cappy and them got you out. Yeah, yeah, we're in good shape now. Yeah. It's Great. Budweiser time. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to have a little more wind that you could fly by today. This light wind was a little interesting today with this balloon, but worked out nice. But. That's why we have safety boats on the river. We always have safety boats on the river, and everybody knows how to do it. Just the balloonist has to learn to trust us, but we'll get them to the bank. For Oberhide and Stallman, this year's race is extra special. Today's barge drop doesn't count in the overall score, 
Oberhide went on to win first place. And Stallman is a co-founder of the race, which this year marks its 25th anniversary. I've been involved in this race since it started. I started this race with James Big Lane. What got you into ballooning? Oh, my friend James Big Lane went to Albuquerque and he came home and told us we had this new hobby. And when he told me what it was, my first thought was, okay, Lord, this will pass too. And the, the next time I got a ride on a balloon, my first ride, the first ride's free. Second ride's about 30000 when you fall in love with it and buy your own balloon. I just thought he was crazy, but when I did it, I found out why he liked it so much. And, and we went to a race in Arkansas and decided that we could start one here. And that was 25 years ago. This is the second balloon we've had. And when they're in the air, you just have to see them. I mean, you maybe don't see a billboard, but you will see the balloon. And it's just a great advertising piece of me. And you remember that you saw it. You do. And to fly in it, that's just outstanding. So uh, is this the uh, king of balloons? Uh, this is the king of balloons, yes. This is. <laughs> This is the king of balloons here. And we also have the largest balloon here. It's a 105,000 oh. cubic foot balloon. And it's, and it's actually twice the size of a lot of the balloons. It's that time. It's the sound that refreshes. <laughs> Here's to you. This buzz for you. <laughs> for more information about the great Mississippi River balloon race, go to NatchezBalloonRace.com. To learn more about the Budweiser balloon, go to budballoon.com. Reporting from Natchez, Mississippi, I'm Jim Albright.